the first thing you're going to have to do to set these treat bags up is um, in your design space is um, set some of the you have to resize the image and then set some things to um, to score. So we're going to upload the image um, in a new workspace. If you haven't already uploaded your images, um, you just click on upload image, navigate to where that image is, and then bring it in. So like I haven't uploaded um, the black cat treat bag yet, so I could upload that. Um, I would just click on it and then click on SVG and click open. Okay, and it shows him and then I save it. And now I can select from any of these treat bags to go ahead and put on my canvas. And I'm going to do this monster because I haven't made him yet. Um, so I click on the monster and then I click, oops, I clicked upload instead, sorry. So upload and then I'm going to click on the monster and then insert image. And he's going to come in kind of small because that's just how these are. Um, the files work best. So the first thing you need to do is resize him to a height of 11.5. 11.5 is um, the max that you can cut on a 12 by 12 cutting pad and since you're going to be using cardstock most likely you're going to be limited to a 12 by 12 piece of paper. So we'll just stick to 12 by 12. Okay so now he's set. Um, I can either click over here on the screen. First I need to ungroup him. I can either click over here on the screen where I know that the, the score marks are going to be or I can click over here on this right hand side where it shows the different parts and then change it to what I need. So I need those two to go to score. While I'm at it, I'm going to highlight these two handle pieces and then I'm going to attach the whole thing together so that it knows to cut out this shape and then put the score line across the bottom. And over here on the side, I'm just going to scroll down until I get to these cut lines that I know are his score lines across the body of the bag. Okay, And I'm just going to highlight all of these as I go down and I'm going to tell all those to be score lines as well and you should see them turn into dash lines on on your little guy here okay um, now I'm going to highlight him as well and I'm going to attach those score lines to him so that when he goes to the cutting machine it knows to put those score lines um, on the bag so that, that we can fold those edges okay so if I click on make now it's going to show me my different colored mats all of the black things should be that are going to cut should be up here in this top corner all the green things and and then the monster himself with his score lines if we hadn't attached those score lines to him those score lines would be on a mat of their own and they'd all be like up here in the top corner and they would be ready to just like kind of make railroad scores on a piece of paper and that's not what we want we want them to score along the bag so now that he's ready to go i can go ahead and click continue and get him made uh, you go ahead and do the same and then i'll show you how to put him together all right, so um, as you can see, I've already done a few of the boxes and put them together just to kind of show you what they look like finished. This would be the candy one. Um, they just open and you can put um, cookies or candy or whatever down inside there. Okay, um, with these ones, you notice that the face is kind of on the front of the box. Um, I actually changed the design after I finished it and moved it to the back of the box. So on the one we're gonna make, it's gonna be on the back. And on these two, it's already on the back. You can see it's been moved to the back. So I'm going to put these just kind of out of the way for a second. And then I'll show you how to make this little Frankenstein. He's, um, I'm going to make him with the new way that I did it so that his face is actually opposite of the way that it closes. Okay. And then we'll fill it with some candy and show you how that works. So the supplies that you're going to need are going to be obviously the cut file and then there's um, this it's quarter inch um, score tape okay? double-sided and I've always just used um, like a really good uh, glue and that's something like this tacky glue or a long time ago I used to use scrappy glue it's um I can't think of the name right now but it's kind of a um, different type of plastic glue uh, this stuff is really good but this stuff is probably my new true love. And I just found an eyeball that I think I lost earlier, but I'm not sure, so we're gonna put that right there just in case. Okay, so glue. Um, then if you've got any 3D dots, you can use those, okay? And then um, I had the regular 3D dots, but I ran out of those, so they were the ones that look like, yeah, I can't find the box. So anyway, um, you're gonna need your cutout. Okay, I've already cut him out of, um, construction or cardstock. So you need the box. You need the two eyeballs. There should be a plate. And it was the missing eyeball, so now I have three. Some hair. 
his handle thing there. It's got some glue already on it. Put that to the back maybe. And his bolts. And then this is just kind of the stem of his handle. Okay, so those are the parts you need. I'm just gonna move these kind of things off to the side for a second and go ahead and fold along the score lines first just to get those ready. Um, also, depending on how you did your cut file, this either scored or it cut right there. I've noticed that if you actually cut it, it works better to hold the box lid closed. Like it kind of creates a little catch there. So if you um, didn't cut it, you might want to slice right there. And I'll show you when we get to that point. But it just kind of holds it a little bit better and it keeps the box from popping open. So, just finish folding along the score lines. And then um, you're going to add the sticky tape to, if you used a textured cardstock for the outside of the cut, you want the sticky tape to go on the outside. Ask me how I know. Because on one of these, I think it was this guy, I actually um, put the score tape on the inside, thinking inside of the box, but really you want this flap to go inside. So it's currently outside, but it's going to go inside. So score tape on the outside facing part of the box. And this stuff's pretty fun. It's This one's quarter inch. You can get it in eighth, half. I don't know if you can get it smaller than eighth. I don't know. But you just kind of line it up and then tear it off where you want it. You could cut it too if you wanted to, but it tears pretty easy. I just kind of put my finger there and then press and pull. And a little bit, if it doesn't quite make it to the end, it's fine. And if you've got a little bit of overlap, it's fine too. So you just need the tape along those two flaps that I just did. And then these flaps here on the bottom, which is actually going to end up being the back side or the back face of your box. Okay, so that's all you need this score tape for. I think, oh, I'm, I might have used it for the hair, so don't put it too far away. But Okay, so I just kind of pressed that down really good. And then pull that off, all four pieces. And then just kind of line that edge up. Oops, I didn't fold there. No, oh, I was missing one. That's the nice thing about the scoring is it kind of just tells you where to fold and it does it really super fast and easy for you. So just line that edge up and kind of press and that's all it takes to have it stuck. No messy fingers, no waiting for it to, to sink into the fibers. Kind of got a little bit of a curl or an edge right there. Pick that off. Maybe. I have to trim it with scissors later. It's just a little bit of that glue that's kind of coming out. It came off. Okay, so press that edge and then fold that inside. Line up your bottom and then just press as you go up. Same with this side. Now, if you wanted to, you could totally glue this too. It's just a lot, lot, lot easier with this tape. And I bought it on Amazon. I'll link to it on the website because it's probably going to be one of my new favorite recommended supplies. Okay, so there's him. And of course, I forgot to do the pop dots down inside there first. So I'll just do those really quick, kind of where you can see him. I'm just going to do one on his forehead and pull that off, pull the sticky part off or the protective part off. Um, that was dumb. I'm going to pull this off first. I don't have to try to get my hand in there. Just set it in there somewhere. Kind of on the sides of his cheeks. I need one more. Pull the top off first. And stick that on his other cheek. Okay, so you can see down in there I just put a few pop dots and that's to put this face card. Um, half the time I remember to put the face card on before I did the box and then the other half the time, like this one, I didn't. So it fits in there pretty nicely. You don't really have to worry about measuring too much. I just gotta go down a little bit more with this one. If it goes crooked, it's not a big deal because as long as you don't see it through the gaps in the front. So we're good. 
Okay, it just sits there. Um, if you're going to throw candy in here, larger pieces like Rolos or something are probably the best. Things that are pre-wrapped. If you want to put things in there like Reese's Pieces or M&Ms that aren't pre-wrapped, then I would just put them in a little baggie and then dump them in there because they might work their way around that edge and then come out through crevices. Okay, so I'm going to fold this closed for just a second so it's out of the way. And then I'm going to run some score tape across his head here on the top. And I'm just going to kind of measure this one out and then pull it off. fingernails so I can't get underneath the cover. There we go. And then put his little mohawk on there, right to the edge of the tape. And glue his little eyeballs on. Fuzz. I just kind of put it on my finger and then put just a tiny dab of glue. And then drop it where I want and kind of press. So eyeballs, and you can make them like cross-eyed, looking up to the side, however you want to do that. Then with his bolts, um, texture side up. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the sides of his head where I want his bolts to be. So that I know I get them even. It's a little much. I mean, just a little, oops, got glue on his face. See, another good reason to use the score tape. Okay, and then, okay. So then the last part is just this little handle. You can choose to put it on if you want to. Um, for the candy corn, it's got a little corn on the handle. Um, now that I'm done with it, I kind of think it looks like a candle, but it's not bad. Um, there's a moon for the cat. And Frankie's got his little extra alfalfa hairdo there. And then there's a stem on the pumpkin. And the skeleton just has like a little bone poking out the top. Okay, so basically what you do is fold them on the score marks away from the textured part. Okay, so that they're kind of making little flaps. And then take the insides and glue them together. I'll line them up. That's just to kind of to make them a little thicker and to attach them. Okay, so once you have that done, then thread it through this base. Okay, a little bit of glue on the base, a little bit of glue on the inside, and then, sorry, I started pulling it towards myself. Press those back and down, and then press them on his head where you, wherever you want it. And I actually need to turn it so that it's, when you close it, it makes that alfalfa. Okay. Just press that for a second until it sticks. And then close it up. That'll dry. And there you go. You've got a cute little treat box. Super fast and simple. Pretty easy to put together once you get them all cut and even the cutting isn't so bad. And then you can just go ahead and fill them up with treats. So it's See what we can get it to fit in here. Close it up. And we got a cute little treat box. Ready to go. Okay, thanks for watching.